Are you still gaming? You still doing that in your spare time? What are you doing? Uh, I'm not doing. doing, I'm uh, coaching high school ball, coaching youth football. My my oldest son's going to high school next year. My youngest one plays youth. So I'm not. What type of coach are you? What are you? What are you coach are you? You Um. What are you? You know, I'm 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 one that I try to give answers to every problem. I try I try to be a fair coach, but I'm hard. I'm tough. You are. Oh yeah, tough. The enemy tough. Not as tough. Is he the tough? Is he the toughest or what? He, oh, I, 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 we, I, it was so funny at the combine. I hang out with him every year and get yeah. to sit down with him. You don't really understand it in that time. I had him at, I was 17 to 20. So mm-hmm. I didn't really understand it, like why he would challenge me. And I felt like everything I did wasn't right. But when you, over time, you start to look like, oh, no wonder it's like that. Like he, his expectation for you is, is unrealistic, but he's going to hold you to that because he knows that if you reach it, you have the potential of being all pro whatever you want to be. And so I'm excited to see him run the offense. Uh, he, he ran a lot of our meetings when I was in college. He He's run an offense before. He ran a lot of the meetings in Kansas oh, City. Oh, I'm sure. So. And we had, there was, a, there was a, a, um, a feature on the Vikings offense years ago. You know what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. Adrian Peterson was yeah. the MVP um, and behind the scenes. And Biennemi was in Peterson's grill oh. and lit him up. And I turned to Marshall, who was sitting, you know, a couple seats away from me on the on the game day morning desk. And I looked at him, and he he just looked at me, and he just nodded his head. He goes, "That's him. That's, that's him. the enemy." Every that's day. That's what he said to me. That that's him. I re- I remember you know? we in my sophomore year we went to Washington. I rushed for 326 yards. So I come back in the meeting on uh, Saturday, uh, Monday, Sunday yeah. or Monday, whenever the meeting was, and I'm I'm excited because normally we watch the whole tape. Right, so I'm like, oh, I'm about to, you know, we're gonna see see him break down. I want to hear what he says about this, right? And, and this is in college. You're this is in college, about. yes. Right. Maurice um, Jones drew back here on the Rich Eisen show in the midst of telling a story about Eric Bieniemy when yeah. he was your college running back running coach. backs coach. You yeah. just ran for how many yards in Washington? Three hundred and twenty-six. Oh, that's a lot of yards. Yeah, we set a record. Okay. We get back in the meeting room. He shows all the negative plays, and was like, we could have rushed for five hundred, but you missed this, 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 and this. You did. Oh yeah. You missed the hole. I missed the hole. Missed the reads. Was he right? Like, oh yeah, he was right. But again, he it, during the game he was like, "Good job." But then he was like, "This is this is what perfection looks like, right? When you want when you get to the next level, you can't miss this read. You can't do these certain things." And so, um, I'm like I said, I'm, I'm really excited because the guy they're going to have a different mindset in, in Washington. Washington is going to uh-huh. be a completely different mindset. Um, they're going to be challenged, and then the other part is you're going against a really good defense week uh, day after day, right? So. The, the standard and how things will be, you know, looked at and how how the expectation is, we'll see if they rise to it. Certainly if they've got Lamar Jackson as their quarterback. Oh, I was going to say, that's another That's one. the spot that for is the me spot. where if I am the Washington Commanders, that's the spot. Everybody in the Mid-Atlantic already knows Lamar. Mm-hmm. Everybody loves Lamar in the Mid-Atlantic. You go and you give Lamar what he wants – Cost you two ones, and and go for it. That's it. You give up. What is it? The sixteenth overall pick in the draft, and then next year's one. Oh, that's easy. And you were the one kicking the tires on Russ Rogers last off. So you were kicking the tires on everybody, and then settled. That's the only way to put it. I'm sorry for Carson Wentz. That didn't work out. Go get. You're hoping more. Sam Howell's your guy. I get it. That's the spot, and you tell the enemy. Here you go with McLaurin and Samuel and a bunch of running a, backs. And a, a, a Brian Robinson yeah. had a terrific rookie year. Oh, man. Right? Don't Antonio you think? Antonio Gibson. Yeah. You, I mean, you. I, that makes sense to me. To me, that's where that's the ideal place. That's where if I'm Lamar, that's where I want to go. Wouldn't you? I would. It's right down the street. And, and, and you have the other thing is Baltimore has arguably the best defense, Baltimore, Pittsburgh, but one of the best defense in the, in the, in the league. Washington does too quietly. They have a really good defense. They can hit you. And they can get after you. And Chase Young hardly played last year. And all of a sudden, like, you get you get a, a mobile quarterback. Your running game is more explosive. Yeah. Uh, your passing game opens up because Lamar can take off. That's the spot. Shh. If I was And he's them. out of the AFC. Yeah. Uh, that's the spot. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free. 